My name is Kwok. Uh, I stand with Joe Briali for City Council because he's the only candidate who's worked hard to bring everybody in the community. Working at the campaign office, I've noticed that there's more diverse people in the office helping out than anywhere I've seen in, in the local area, especially in politics, because it's a majority Latino community. And someone who can bring that kind of group of people together and who's competent and knows what he's doing and understands the issues, uh, who's got the energy and the skill set to go out there and help the community out, you know, advocate for people who vote, for the voters. And also just getting things done when things are against them, when the odds are against them. He finds a way to, to bring people together and uh, get things done. I've seen it with the bike community, I've seen it with the cleanups, I've seen it with uh, uh, the volunteering at the homeless shelter, uh, the, just various issues, even like save, saving the Southwest Museum, the, the York Park, I can, I can go on and on. Um, but he's been an advocate for the community ever since I've known him. There's nobody else who's got a big smile, who's willing to shake your hand, give you an hour, maybe two hours for coffee just to talk about issues. Nobody will do that. But Joe will, and he rides a bike all day. Maybe that's where he gets his energy. But that's, that's who Joe is. Joe is a guy who's warm, caring, friendly, and somebody who has, feels a deep sense of community and wants to contribute to his community. Even though he sees other people just telling him, no, you're wasting your time. Like, you're nobody. But obviously, he knows what he's doing because he's gotten this far. Nobody else wanted to take that on the challenger because they were scared. You know, po big politics, the incumbent, the whole political machine, nobody wants to take that on. That's why the community is the way it is. Because everybody's scared of the entrenched incumbent. They don't know where else to turn. And then that's when Joe came in because he felt like nobody else was doing it, so he had to step in. And I was willing to back him because I trust him. You know, uh, I've seen his, his friends, I've seen what, how he behaves and, you know, around other people, and even personally, or behind, you know, closed doors. He, he's honest, he's an honest person. You know, he might always say the right things, but he doesn't, he doesn't say anything that I've seen that equates to racist, homophobic, or transgender. He might not understand the transgender community, but a lot of people don't. And we're just starting to learn how to understand and interact with people like that. For, even for myself, I didn't know how to do that. And then I recently found out my friend's family, uh, his son is gay at, at the wedding. He came out and he came out as a woman. So, you know, this is a new era and this is something that we're going to face. And Joe knows about this because he has a personal story to tell of somebody in his life who's former gym coach who came out and he's a woman now. And this is someone close to Joe, Joe's family. He knows, he's known him for like 20, 30 years. So I have no problem trusting Joe. And if people really want to, they should come up and talk to him. So will give you the time of day.